Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. They do things bigger in Texas, and Darrow K. Royal Memorial Stadium on the Texas Longhorns campus is one of the biggest. New Mexico State is lined up for the opening kickoff. So here we go. And this season is officially underway. Miller takes from the 10. He's out to the 30. And down he goes at the 50-yard line. The Longhorns have a new head man. New theories, new hopes, new dreams. Will there be new wins? We'll find out. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Gains about four yards on the play. That brings him second and five. From the 46 yard line. Second down. Got an opening. Good solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. He's got the corner. He's at the 20. Inside the 10. What a play. Knocked out of bounds, and that's going to be first and goal. So they get the first down on the quarterback scramble. This guy just showed what makes him a great dual threat quarterback. First and goal from the three. They're knocking on the door. Pressured and brought down. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Converts the extra point. A five-play, 51-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. Well, the blocking up front was just amazing. I think that's what led them to those big runs. So our score, 7-0. Texas is lining up to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 28-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. 
They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Myers quick to an open man. He dropped it. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 28. Throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Throws complete. He's hit right away. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. Ryan is waiting for the snap. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Texas up seven points. Set. Brought down at midfield. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. From the 50, it's second down. throw to the back it's incomplete the ball was underthrown. it was a good read he just needs to find his rhythm back there and step and throw the football complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it Dunbar is the deep man awaiting the return. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The Longhorns really took care of business on defense that first time out, Kirby. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He delivers. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. On the ground, right side. And he's taken down at the 21. Brought down at the 42. They're ready to begin another drive. Texas is up by a touchdown. Set. Blue 19. Hey. It's second down and a long way to go. Ball on their own 34. Ready! Trying to set up a little screen. Gets it to his tailback. And they finally push him out at the 32. the big pass play. We've got a first down. Three down, three down. Mike, Mike 34, Mike 34. 
He's at the 20. And they make the stop around the 17-yard line. possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. Up by seven and looking at first and goal. Splits the uprights with the extra point. So at the end of one quarter, Texas leads 14-0. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 25. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. And they get nice yardage on that run. That brings him second and five. Got a man open, bad pass. From their own 30-yard line, it's third down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Looks middle, got his back. They'll bring him down around the 35-yard line. Well, on third down, we expected them to go to the air, and they did just that, picking up the first down. They'll spread the field with five wide. And down he goes, around the 36-yard line. The quarterback draw goes for about a yard, but that's it. Let's go deep. He's tackled around the 37-yard line. He's taken down at the 45-yard line. The slant pattern, good for about eight yards on the play. Ryan awaits the snap. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 30. Scrambling around. Tackle at the 30-yard line. two on third down.
First and 10. Ball on the 49. Here he goes. He's at the 30, and he's finally taken down at the 24-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. Five wide. He's tackled at the 11. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. The defense always likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really big. From the 11-yard line, second down. Pitches back. What a play, and that is first and goal. And this play is number eight on the drive. Touchdown, Longhorns. And he hits the PAT. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. You keep your finger on the pulse of the top five. Always fall out in the BCS stand. The Crimson Tides go aerial and hit the board with the first touchdown of the game. Alabama leads it 7-0. All right, Reese, back to our game. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 28. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Zips it to the back, and he hits him hard at the 36. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. Terrific execution by the entire offense to make that run work and to get the third down conversion. There's a strike complete. He's down. That makes it second and six. Throws to the receiver. Incomplete. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Quick pass, brought down around the 34-yard line. Caught in a big hit, he stopped in his tracks. They'll line up with five wide receivers. That's 
a great tackle at the 36-yard line. And we've seen just why many call this kid one of the best defensive players in the country. This guy's just at another level. It just looks like he is stronger and faster than everybody else on the field. Aaron and out long. Incomplete. They got lucky on that play. That receiver was wide open, but the quarterback just missed him. That brings us fourth and 11. He'll try to knock this punt down inside the 20. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. The Longhorns offensive staff, I think, has done a good job of keeping their wide receiver in the game. Even though he's not having great stats, he's part of it, and the rest of the team now is picking up his slack, I think. Well, this offense is still putting points on the board, and I think at times they're actually using the wide receiver, the go-to man who's drawing so much attention, really as a decoy, open up other avenues of this offense. We've seen other receivers make some plays. They're running the football. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments this defense makes to try to slow down these other members of this offense. And who knows, maybe that could open it back up for that marquee receiver. Second down and 16 to go. Ball on the 14-yard line. Let's go! Blue 88! Blue 88! Quick throw out to the receiver. And he's taken down right around the 24-yard line. We played a half of football. The Longhorns lead 21-0. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Both of these defenses are opportunistic. They're very good at forcing turnovers. But both quarterbacks, David, have done a very good job while trying to maintain an aggressive mindset. They haven't forced the ball. The runners have done a good job keeping it put away. Yeah, and as much as you preach that all throughout the week, it's still hard to do. It's hard to execute. And being able to see what you see on the defensive side of the football and adjust to it offensively, how about protecting the quarterback so he's not getting hit from the blind side, fumbling the football, ball carriers running with the football, keeping it tight to their body, not giving it away. So, you know, between running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks, offensive linemen blocking, did a great job executing on the offensive side of the football, not to, create, not to give away any turnovers. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 23-yard line. The Longhorns continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Wallace is back awaiting the punt.
and down he goes at the 50. The offense is coming out on the field, and they haven't had any problem finding the end zone lately. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Good tackle there in space. And they were lucky that one didn't go for more. They looked like they've never defended the option before. The tailback had a ton of running room there. Second down and five. Ball on the 22-yard line. They come out in an empty backfield. Let's go! Let's go. Inside the 10. And that sets them up for the first and goal. converts the extra point. A five-play, 49-yard drive. And the result, seven points. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lines. Texas kicked this one off. Williams fields it at the one. Brought down at the 30. So the Aggies are just falling apart in this quarter. I mean, are there any positives you can even use to motivate the team right now? Well, as bad as it looks and feels right now, there's still over a quarter of football to be played. You just got to forget about the mistakes, try to get a little bit of momentum created, and get confidence back in this quarterback being able to make plays for it. He gets rid of this one. From their own 30-yard line. Second down. Quick out to his receiver. They come out in a five-wide set. And he's got the junior. And they make the stop around the 41 yard line. First down. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home, yo. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home. Mike three, Mike three. Combo, combo, combo. Check 99. Check 99. Got a man tackled for a loss. Second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 46. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Gets it out to him again. Tackle made at the 35-yard line. That'll bring up 34. They'll spread the field with five wide. Looks to the back and can't connect. 
And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Fires right side, got his tailback. And he tackles him hard at the 26. Stone makes, makes the tackle, tackle at the 26 yard line. line. Man, left that that makes it first and 10. Mike three, Mike three. Combo, combo, combo. Throws, and he's right there to knock it away. Roach in the coverage. That makes it second and 10. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 26. Wants to throw outside. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Rifles this one out to the left. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Fourth down, and it looks like they're going to go for it again. Worked for him last time. Here's the pass, broken up, and they'll fail on fourth down. That's a big-time stop here by the defense. I know we're only in week one, but this defense looks like they're in mid-season form. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Texas up big right now in this one. He's taken down around the 36-yard line. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. the ball carrier and the counter is good enough for the first yeah the offensive line did a good job of selling that play on that one and the halfback was aware of that first down line and got the conversion makes it out to about the 50. midfield. First down. Another run. Tackle around the 46-yard line. Seven yard line. It's first down. So at the end of three, the Longhorns lead 28 0. This one has been a blowout since the beginning. Hopefully the fourth quarter will turn things around. Texas in control. Great job on the running back, and that's a gain of nine. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Keep it on the ground again. He fights forward to about the 26. 
Here's the eighth play of the series. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Makes it to the 17. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Tackled after a decent pickup. Tenth play of the drive. He's in another touchdown. That's his third trip to the end zone. Until they can figure out how to slow him down, it's going to be very tough for them to get back into this game. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The Cowboys arrive at today's game ranked 16th in the nation. And for Oklahoma State, they get the aerial game cranked up and a passing touchdown. The Cowboys are on top, 7-0. Elsewhere, taking you out to look at some action in the top five. And we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. The Crimson Tides have a lethal pass-catch combination for a touchdown. And for Grigsby, he's caught a pass for a touchdown. The Crimson Tide on top, 21 to three, closing in on halftime. Reese, we're not gonna have an exciting finish here, I can tell you that. Atkins is lined up to kick this one off. It's fielded at the two. Tackle made at the 23. And it'll be interesting to see how much fight this team has left in them. This has been a brutal game. And down he goes at about the 31. hit immediately so an empty backfield with five wide receivers going long he's tackled at the 20 sack him the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass if you can get in there and disrupt the pocket then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers from the 20-yard line second down quick pass intercepted They've just been outmatched and outplayed this entire game. That pass was thrown with very little confidence, and it was an easy interception for the defense. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the nine. Less than three minutes in the game. They'll bring him down at the 21-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Ready! Flash at the eight! Run, 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 run. 
He's to the 40. And he's tackled at the 49. it out to maybe the 36 yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That'll make it second and seven. star player didn't have a great game but I think making adjustments and changing the game plan because their star didn't deliver I think that would be a big mistake well, that's it for this presentation of NCAA football 14 for Kirk Herbstreit I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks and we'll see you soon <laughs>